I've closed the window and the computers and the lights are on, so I'm gonna be melty in an hour. Oh, I left the window open and I got my hand running, so. The microphone should come in after it's There's a hint of a whiff of a breeze outside, but not a whiff of a breeze. That is not gonna help me. I'm just gonna Welcome to the Northern Knits Podcast, where two friends in fiber who knit, craft, crochet, and talk everything in between. My name is Jocelyn, and my co-host is... Diana. We're back at home. We're back on the regular schedule. Whew. What is this weird regular schedule? And we're already over halfway through June. How did that happen? Where did June go? I don't know. But by the time you guys see this on Wednesday, we'll have already cast on for the summer solstice count, because that's happening on Tuesday for us this week. So hopefully you were able to join us uh i don't know what else we got going on uh we've got stuff to cover this week and i've got things i'm gonna just intersperse in between because i love messing with the schedule what are we gonna do today do you know what we're doing today we make show notes i hope i never know what we're doing i never know what's going on um we've got uh what's in our cup and some cool threads and woolly workings and wool gathering but uh, i believe first we have a giveaway we do have a giveaway guys i'm drinking lemonade (laughs) It's uh, yeah, it's the cold summer beverage day. Peach bubbly for me. Nice motor bike. Okay, so giveaway. I got to listening to the motorbike drive into the gas station and then drive away from the gas station with motorbikeness. Really loud. He's like a half a block away at this point. <laughs> Compensating for something. Motorbikes. Motorbikes need better mufflers. I know that's part of the appeal of the whole culture. <laughs> Make them quieter. <laughs> Make them like electric cars where they don't make noise. That'd be great. Oh my gosh, electric one. Can Amazing. I have an electric one that looks like one of the really, really old ones, but like with a sidecar? For Chris to ride it? Yeah. Does he know you want to do this to him? Yes. Okay, good. So long as his helmet that he gets to wear for safety looks ridiculous, I thoroughly approve. Or incredibly oh, old yeah. school with goggles. Oh, 100% he'd do that like with old like the airman's goggles. cap with the big goggles kind of deal. He would yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I want, that I want to see. But yeah, absolutely. Just rock up looking like a cosplay. You two totally would. <laughs> yeah, we would. <laughs> you totally would. Oh, goodness. All the way home uh, from Saskatoon. It added 30 minutes to the eight-hour drive, so we did it. Me and Aaron stopped in with the ladies at Midnight Cravings, and we visited. And they gave me this little flyer thingy for their make-along they got running right now. Uh, so it's a summer make-along. Grab your favorite midnight yarn and cast on with us July 14th, August 11th. Um, there's prizes, and they have a rivalry group. So if you guys are into make-alongs, you should go do it. Will I make something? Yes. Will I join in the rivalry? Probably not. Probably not. I don't know what they're really bad for it. I want to see what everyone's making, but I also don't, like, I'm notoriously bad for threads for a reason. I never got into them. Like, I don't, I don't like chat threads. I don't like Reddits. I don't, I don't do giant messenger chat threads. Just, it's not my happy place. It's not my happy place. I like the Discord threads, which are we have ours are all separated down, so you can talk about different topics in different spaces. Like I like that, mm. but even then, there are some days where I don't know how to check. I don't know. I'm usually into that sort of stuff, which is fine if you are. It's just not a thing for me for the most part. But the ladies gave me some yarn to give away, so I'm going to try to get the labels right side up. Hit. No promises. No, no promises. I probably got it wrong. It's fine. I'll let you know. Listen, I read their after dark colorway is after bark. <laughs> that's not what it's called, but that's what I read. I know what the colors are. <laughs> we got two skeins of figuring uh, white yarn in deep sea and. Uh, What's the light color one? Seven C's. Thank you. I'm like, we just did this. 
Yes, deep sea yes. is the uh, the dark, dark blue one, yeah. and seven seas is the greeny, bluey, speckly one. Would this make an excellent endless summer adventure shawl? Yes. Yeah. Just Stripe them together. Oh my gosh. Or fade. Start with this and then fade into the or light. Fade. Yeah. Yeah. That would be so pretty. So they were super, super kind, mostly because they saw me touching the deep sea one. Uh, I can't help myself. It's a pretty bird. They also gave us these beautiful squircle things, which are like circle square stitch markers. They're circle, oh. but they're square. <laughs> it's the cutest little thing. They're so freaking adorable. Anyway, they gave us this to do a giveaway for you guys. So I was like, absolutely. I will do a giveaway. Doesn't take that much to bend my rubber arm about it. We're going to do them separately and randomly whenever stuff comes in to give. I will not be mailing this. We all have learned this lesson. Aaron has kindly volunteered to mail it. So whoever wins actually gets the stuff. We're bypassing the Jocelyn problem. Oh my god, you peeps. So, oh my god. So many, I don't understand how you could track the gremlins. I don't know. I don't know. I give up. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Just I have to I have to make it till I'm 60 that I can start telling people I don't do tech. Uh, <laughs> that's how we're gonna work that. Somebody else can start dealing with these things. To enter for the prize, you have to be subscribed. You have to comment to the question we're going to ask you guys, and you have to like this video. That's it. Three super super easy super free things that you can do to get entered to win some pretty yarn. To so, add squirkles, I'm sorry, I love these freaking stitch markers. I love them so much they gave me a package for myself because <laughs> I was so enamored. <laughs> Did you look at these things? They're so stupidly cute. They are really cute. Just they're like the little cat ones you gave me where they're circles, but they got the cat ears at the top. I can't. Yeah, I can't. They're so dang adorable. Uh okay. Oh wait, question, because nobody cares about my love of circle squares. What is the question we want everyone to answer in the comments below, Diana? Uh, we would like everyone to tell us your favorite thing to do near water. Which, Whether that's a pool, a lake, an ocean, a pond, I suppose. Maybe you like fishing. Maybe you like lying on the beach. Oh, can I stretch that? Can I stretch that? My favorite thing to do near water is the attend the St. Norbert's Farmer's Market, which is near a splash pad. <laughs> that's perhaps a little bit of a stretch you said near water it's it is I near complied, water i complied with the rules <laughs> you made that rule and it took like me from the time we made ago. the rule till now to figure out what i was gonna say <laughs> guys i love to swim it's I, I love to swim all types of bodies of water i love to swim I've swam in oceans, I've swam in rivers, I've swam in lakes, I've swam in pools <laughs> numerous times. I was a, a junior uh, lifeguard at a splash pad in a pool for a summer when I was younger. I love to swim. It is my favorite thing. I am one of those weird A morning people, um, but when I lived in my old house, at the end of the long, because I was in a, like a row of cul-de-sacs. So at the end of the end of the cul-de-sac run, yeah. I would hang a left and there was a community pool about 12 minutes from my house by foot. So like I would walk there at five of the five thirty in the morning, I'd start walking there. Cause it was dark, so I'm very, very slow. Too <laughs> early. Slow. Uh and I would take the early morning swim slots and I would swim at six in the morning. I love to swim. It is my favorite thing to do. Period. I love water. Baths. I could have said I love having baths. I have a claw foot tub. That's technically near water. I'm in it at the time. I just like to sit near the water and stare out aimlessly at it for hours oh. or read a book or, I you know, I like to just chill near water. It's There's something very calming about being be near water. Swimming or boating. I gotta be doing something if I'm near water. Just, I, I just... am in water deep enough to, I theoretically know how to swim but I'm in water deep enough to swim in approximately once a year so I'm unsure if I am physically able to swim if I fall off the boat I won't drown right away that's good uh, don't um, get but that's about all I can me. say about swimming 
I just never do it. So I just, it's not a skill that I have. Oh, it's a skill I have. I love swimming. I've loved swimming for a very long time. I used to competitively swim until I became unhydrodynamic. Uh, I grew boobies. Oh, <laughs> I am no longer hydrodynamic, guys. Uh, my competitive swimming career <laughs> was derailed by puberty. <laughs> ah, curse you, puberty. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to maintain it for about a year anyway because I went from my childhood height to my adult height in about a year so it was, it was a very painful year <laughs> I would not have enjoyed competitively swimming at the same time yeah yeah I remember the summer where my feet grew literally two sizes it hurts maybe even three sizes one at a time over the course of two or three months mm-hmm. it's painful yeah You're it was really really painful all the time yeah, I look forward to seeing what everybody else likes to do in your water. Maybe there are yes. more hardcore swim fans like me. Yeah. Oh, I would imagine there probably are. Women. More romance on the beach readers. I don't. If I'm reading on the side of a beach, I'm going to fall asleep. I mean, I did that too. But last I time s- I was near water, I spent a lot of time reading the third Bridgerton book. Yes. Did you got Remember bubbly? That? I get, yes, I have some peach bubbly. Did I give away... Uh, oh, cool threads. Very briefly. Oh, did you have a cool thread? Oh, yeah, it was cool I have one you. single cool thread. I It was cool enough this week that I wore my hexagon cardigan. The big, bulky, um, yellow and kind of 70s colored one. Um, I like it. Yeah, I, got, I had an opportunity to wear that out because it was actually cool enough to wear that. And now we're sitting at 26, 27, and I'm melting slightly with all of the lights and computer. And it's great. It's great, really. Mm. I love it so much. It's great. She'll be fine, guys. Yeah. She'll be fine. It'll just expire. It's fine. I'm like that 90% of the year, so. (laughs) That really sucks. Yes, yes, it does. I I am aware. You have the sympathy. You have all of the sympathy. Yeah. I'm cold 90% of the time. It's not pleasant. So the the concept of being too hot is like, wh- how? Where Where is this happy middle ground? I'm either too cold or too hot. Apparently, I don't get a nice in oh, the middle. Just, I'm just too warm all the time. It's fine. I've learned to deal with it. It's not fun, but I've had to deal with it. All right. Shall we talk about yarn and wool and fiber and things? Yes. Yes, we should do that. As my brain falls out for a second. Mm. All the floor. Okay. Yep. Yep. Mm. Lots of little pieces. Okay. Uh, I believe you have four things. So how about you go first? Sure. While we're recording today, I needed something easy to work on that didn't require a lot of looking. I need to get some more stuff at the roundy, roundy face. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I am working on my find your page shawl because there is no purling. There is no purling. I don't know what the hate for purling is. I am uh, making these the this one. I've already got a find your page shawl. This is my second. Uh, I'm making this one out of my Star Track Sock Club colorways from Erin of Fireweed Fireco. Uh, if you guys haven't heard us uh, rave about her continuously, uh, welcome to the Erin Party Parade. Uh, we adore her as a person. We adore her as a dyer. We, we love her saturated colorways. So we both own a lot because we're both members of the Sock Club every year. And I know we think about yeah, not yeah. being members of the Sock Club and then we just sign up anyway because we're like, no, we want it. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're doing we're on the DK Tweed train this year. I like the DK Tweed train. It's been a nice change of pace. It's been nice. I'm going to have a sweater quantity real soon. Yeah, which is the other sort of benefit for that. So I'm working on that while we record because that is the project I have right now that it's the easiest to work on space. As usual, I'm working on four millimeter chow goo needles because that's my most used size of knitting needle. And for this shawl, I don't really care what the gauge is. I like the fabric. It's a shawl, so it doesn't really matter. It's a shawl. It doesn't really matter too terribly much, especially since I'll just play around with yardage. It's fine. There you go. I'm technically just started color three. 
of seven. I got a ways to go. <laughs> just a little ways. Just, just a small. A smidge. Yeah. Just a smidge. So that is what I work on while we record. I think you're up. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, you may have noticed I have a finished object. Ta-da! Ah, I'm really kind of tempted to make one. Like, that just looks cute and comfy. It is. I mean, I made it out of acrylic, so it's a little bit warm. Eh, um, it would be the same if you made it out of cotton, because I'm assuming that's not a fingering weight cotton. No, or this is worsted weight. weight. Yeah, even a worsted weight cotton is going to be quite warm. Anyway, so this is the viral TikTok bralette by Bjax, uh with an X. It came up on TikTok, and then she's like, I have a YouTube channel with a tutorial for this. And I'm like, that looks really cute. And then I fell down a hole watching a bunch of her tutorials. And so this is not the only thing that I'm going to make. Um, her version, she changed colors like every other row. Okay. So hers is like crazy bright and colorful. And I decided that I would not wear a crazy bright, colorful thing. Also, I don't have crazy bright, colorful things. Um, but I did have a bunch of this mostly white. Uh, it's... Acadia from the uh, Lion Brand Heartland Heartland. line. Yeah. From your blanket. Um, Yeah, from my big corner to corner blanket a few years back. Talk with a stitch for some reason. For some reason, I wound up with like two and a half extra balls of the white. So this took um, whatever leftovers I had. I don't know how much it was, but it took a ball of leftovers and then like another maybe quarter of a ball. No, that's not too much. So, like, probably around one ball, and this is her extra large size. You, my girl, are not an extra large. No. No, I am not. Um, I say this because... You're a medium. <laughs> if you are larger than me, you might have to do a little bit of tweaking. In U.S. To sizes, make it fit. she's a medium, folks. Yeah. Anyway, it's really cute. Okay. And it's like a free YouTube tutorial kind of deal. So, yeah. Durable. I do, I do appreciate the putting something on underneath because that's a lot of a lot It'll of be cleavage. A lot, it's a lot of, lot of cleavage for the internet. It's um, a lot of cleavage. That's not the type of YouTube channel we have. No, I thought that was probably a bit much for the YouTube channel today. Uh, I feel yeah. like maybe it's more of a, a beach deal or like a chilling in the backyard kind of deal. That's not fair. so much a um, internet deal. You would not be comfortable showing that much skin. Not not so much. Not, not so, so much. much. Um, yeah. Uh, so I started this on Friday and it's now Sunday. So it's a quick project. You were into it. I would say the longest part. The longest part was all the little single crochets to make the cups. Everything else was really fast. <laughs> the cups were the longest part. Which it just never seemed to end. It's the most important part because it covers the girls. I know. So like it's they're solid. Like I don't I don't technically need anything underneath, but like, yeah. So I'm just I'm really pleased with it. Oh, and it's um ties up in the back. It's just really cute. Ah. So there's that. That's what I've been working on this weekend. <laughs> I finished it this morning. It still needs a wash. Okay. That's fine. But honestly, it's getting on here so we're done. I probably will just wear this because it's warm. Oh my god. It can go in the laundry later. It can go in the laundry later. That's fair. Yeah. Yes. Alright. Toasty. A little toasty. I suppose that means I'm up again. You are indeed up again. We should continue with the FO train. I really wish that I'd mm-hmm. thought to put my drink in a glass with some ice. That was not... You I don't normally put... do ice in my drinks. I don't <laughs> normally like really cold drinks, but it's hot and I would like a cold drink. Love ice in my drinks. Love ice in my drinks. Don't normally, I it's because it's normally too cold. And I don't like that. But when it's hot, when I'm uh, when I'm hot, ice in the drinks. Oh well, live and learn. Well, Next in time the, in the winter time, 
I uh, use my ice cube trays because I don't want cold ice drinks. I use my ice cube trays to make ice cube size uh, broth ones. So, like I'll fill it up with homemade broth and freeze them into trays because then you're adding, it's easier to add. So not everything needs an entire thing of broth. Sometimes you just need a little bit of broth. Especially if not cooking for a ton of people. I'm not cooking for a ton of people. All right. It's done. Again. Finally. It's done again. Oh my god. I am never doing this ribbing again. I already talked with oh Aaron. God, I was like, can you, can, can you help me tweak the ribbing so that it doesn't look kind of weird in spots? She's like, yeah, no, we're never doing this ribbing again. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing the ribbing for a sixth time. Sixth time. Sixth no. time? No. This is, this is the fifth time, if you think about it, because I messed up three times, then bound off the fourth time. Then I had to rip back to add a couple extra inches. Oh. Yeah, gross. No, nope. nope. gross. Done. Mm. done. So I'm allowed. We're to done with this one. <laughs> done. And I have this much left over. So it's not even an insignificant Ooh. amount of leftover. But the wood woes has been lengthened. We are now a full twenty inches before ribbing, and we're a full inch and three quarters of ribbing that I gave up. I know I gave up a quarter of an inch to two inches. I don't care. I gave up. I'm done. I don't care. I gave up. I will not be able to see the ribbing because it will exist under the girls. Therefore, it's not real. I also haven't seen my feet since I was 16 unless I bend forward. So it doesn't matter. So for Stash Dash, I have my first FO. My fingering weight Woodwell sweater. Ta-da! Oh, it looks so good. And I, of course, dropped the stitch, which I then clipped everything all up together, and I'm just going to pour Erin. Uh, that's her first of help. So I need to do some weaving in, because that is the stage I'm at. And let's be honest, it won't happen until the stitch gets picked up. So it's not like I can wear it right now anyway. It's 27 degrees. I'm not yeah, wearing that's... fingering weight wool sweaters. Nope. Nope, nope. It's the wrong nope. time of year. But I will be able to wear them later when it's fall. And it well into winter, which I'm very excited. This is something I can start wearing in fall and wear straight through to spring. So, like, I need to get my other fingering weight sweaters done because I'm like, yes. They're, those are versatile enough. I can wear them all the time. Mine is summer, which, you know, that's fine. So, that's my FO. So for the last time, unless I'm wearing it for fun, that was a Northern Cardinal colorway, which is a Songbird Song Club colorway from Erin of Fireweed Fabrico. Oh, you guys can save 10% off if you buy her yarn. Use the coupon code Northern Knits 10. Yep. 10 is in one zero. Yes. Oh, I'm so close to being done this little swatch, and then I can talk about it. Oh, lemon's so good. Lemon to need. Okay. I have... Actually, I will talk about my other thing. If, two uh... things to go. And then some so beautiful knitting. Well, how about I show off my uh, ooh, four rows of progress? Yeah, well, one of them's two rows of progress for me, so don't feel that bad. Uh, the Stego sweater <laughs> took a back seat, um, but I have spines. You can see it's a Stegosaurus now. Have you yeah. still not lengthened your cord? No, I can't find where I've stuck my longer knit picks cords. I found my longer chowgu cords, okay. but I don't know where my longer knit picks cords is. And no, I can't attach them because the ends are different. The the chowgu one, the cords have the sticky out screw bit that goes yes. into the needle where knit picks, the screwy bit is on the needle and it goes into the cord. Yes. So they're completely incompatible, which is really irritating. Okay. So I um, have not found where my longer knit picks cords are and i'm sad about it could it be on a project somewhere i'm sure it is but uh <laughs> anyway i will show you this one repeat that is a it's, it's definitely looking like a stegosaurus look you can see the spikes Ta -da! oh jeez i think it's cute I... oh you're falling behind 
Well, I have a story about that. I spent Uh-oh. an exquisite amount of time one evening because yes. I completely screwed up one of my Stegosaurus repeats. Uh-oh. Yes. And I had to do some serious surgery. Um, so you can see on the back of this one uh, how much excess yarn I have sticking out now because of my surgery that I had to do. You done goofed up good. I done goofed up good, but only on one repeat. The rest of the sweater is perfect. <laughs> so it's just that one repeat you don't like. <laughs> it's just that, and it's it's the stegosaurus that's going to be like here. So like nobody's going to see the back of my right shoulder. No, no. So I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Um, if it blocks wonky, I can like do some extra surgery or something. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, but like even this one looks it looks fine from the front. So yeah, I like completely screwed up one of the rows. Um, this uh, this little bit that's uh, that's like here in front of the front spike. Yeah. I had it starting like way back here in front of the second spike. <laughs> like I, the middle of my stegosaurus was shifted by an entire stegosaurus plate. It was very <laughs> noticeable. It was very wrong. If you're like, and I spent a good hour fixing huh? it, <laughs> and I don't know how I managed to do like three rows wrong. So I had to like in this one section for like ten stitches, drop every single stitch, oh my God. and then like repick up the correct color all the way up. Oh and- no. Just on this one stegosaurus, the rest of the sweater is fine. Is absolutely perfect. Okay, okay. You're just gonna have to keep in mind that that one stegosaurus and you've got it out for each other. <laughs> anyway, so I think I think we've kissed and made up. I think we're okay mm-hmm. now. Good, um, good. the relationship is back on track. Excellent. It's always good to know you go to couples therapy when you need to with your sweater. Um, but it was in a little bit of a timeout for most of the weeks. So. Uh, that's why it's only got four rows. <laughs> and I didn't pick also up the kind knife. of why I made an entire bralette because <laughs> I needed to do something else. else. Yeah, I didn't pick up the Nightshade Society sweater at all this week. So I wanted to get the wood woes done. I got the wood woes done. Yes. Also, note I haven't even been home for a whole week yet. I've been yeah, home since uh... Wednesday at seven twenty ish p.m. Tuesday, 7.20, Tuesday, 7.20-ish p.m. So, you know, been deployed. It will, I would even have been home for a full week when we do the cast-on party on Tuesday. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's been a week. It's been a week. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, there's you finished a thing again. I did. For, for realsies this time. For, so. Oh, my God, I don't have to add any extra, like, thank heavens. Oh, that's my first right, figuring white sweater. So there was a lot of learning with that one. Okay, next up. Some naked sock needles. Naked. Naked sock needles. The horror. We have a How one. dare you show that on the internet? I know. Really risque, folks. Uh, I have one finished sweet romance shorty sock i'm gonna stick these in my hair because they'll stay i need to wash i need to block and i need to fold the brim brim down cuff down because it is a folded cuff sock that's right i didn't bother with ribbing we're doing ribbing we're trying the folded cuff method who needs ribbing who needs ribbing? So I bound off nice and loose. So I need to wash block and then I can sew it down. And what I think I'm going to do to help me, because I have sock blockers, is once it's washed and blocked, I'm going to fold the cuff down, like I'm going to turn the sock inside out, fold the cuff down while it's on the blocker, which is like super stretched out. Mm-hmm. And I will sew it while it's on the blocker. Oh, so and then you don't that way, sew it I know I haven't, I haven't sewn it too tight. Because left to my own devices, I might sew it too tight because I'm used to small, tight stitches when I hand sew, which would be bad. Which would be bad. So uh, Diana has to try the sock on when she comes to visit next time because it's too short for my foot. All of that, it doesn't even doesn't even fit me. Oh, so I'm gonna make the second sock the same as the first sock. 
and it'll, it'll it'll fit your feet or it'll fit Aaron's feet or it'll fit my niece's like somebody near me will have feet that this will fit and they'll get a pair of socks Excellent. that's how that works a pair of nice shorty shorty socks a sweet romance is a sock uh, colorway from Erin of Fireweed Fabrico. It is the adult romancy colorway as far as my brain is concerned because it is a darker, more saturated pink uh, without uh, quite so much bubblegum pink uh, levels of flavor going on. Not that there's anything wrong with that level of pink. It's just not a me kind of pink. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's- so there you go. I got a cast on sock number two. I was supposed to do that before we recorded because then I could have been working on my sock. I certainly didn't do that. So I played Boyfriend Dungeon instead last night. Fair. And I leveled up my weapons and I took them on dates because that's what you're supposed to do in that game. Also, I in still that defense, uh, Fortnite has dinosaurs right now, so I've I'm been still... riding dinosaurs. <laughs> I can't I can't get into the university dungeon yet. I'm still not leveled up high enough. And it kicks my butt. Oh, and I, of course, have decided my health drink of choice is coffee. So I'm running around the cafeteria of the university and I couldn't find a cup of coffee anywhere. Oh. The university is this, you don't have coffee in the cafeteria. Rude. rude. Very rude. Rude people. All right. Uh that is my third project. Back to you. All right. Um, so Ooh, for lemonade. our summer solstice cast on on Tuesday, I got a little bit of a jump on it. And because I'm making garment, I wanted to make a gauge swatch. Yep. Which I have just finished. Good. Uh, so I will talk about the yarn a little bit first. Uh, yesterday on our Patreon hangouts, uh, our Patreon members picked out some yarn from the stash behind me. <laughs> Literally, they just like, that one, no, down to the left. Yeah, that one. And I'm, stripe I'm... it with... <laughs> The next, one time, the, top right. <laughs> the next time we need to do that, I am going to get permissions from everyone to record that little section of it so that I can use it as a promo. Just, it just sums up what we do. It really does. Color by committee, so, people. Color by committee. They picked the Borg colorway. These are both Fireweed Fiber Co. So we've got the Borg, which is acid green down into black green. Oh, I uh, love it. Well, we know I love it. I'm, my nightshade society sweater is in the Borg color one. And it's getting striped with, uh, what's this yellow one? Is some canary something or other? I don't know. Uh, American Goldfinch. So it is primarily yellow with a uh, little, like, almost micro stripes of black. Not even quite enough to be a micro stripe. And then little tiny flecks of, like, an orangey reddy color. Oh, I'm so cheerful. I love that color so much. It's exquisitely cheerful. So these are getting striped together to make the Summer Secret Crop by... Her name starts with a J. I want to say it's like Jalen something. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Jesse Made? No. Yes, that one. I pulled that out of my posterior. <laughs> Good job. Uh, so I finished my swatch for that. The gauge called for it is very loose. So this is a very floppy swatch. Um, and then I wanted to see how they would stripe together. So I have striped. There we go. I get out of there, string. I love I have those striped them together and I was trying to decide together what thickness so much. of stripes. Oh. So like I did there's a actually I did it kind of this way. Um so I did a big chunk of yellow. Project more to your microphone. Whoops, I'm getting getting too far. There we go. <laughs> but then i don't know if i want like six stripe or six row stripes or then i tried some four row stripes i think four row stripes might work i think two row stripes like i did at the top here are too skinny because you don't two get to rows, see enough skinny. of the yarn yeah you yeah. don't get to see the yarn play around so i think either four, four, or six. Or four or six and i'm honestly i'm leaning six i think just because like... then you get to see more of the yarn play I like the fun look of the wider stripe, the six stripe. Like it just looks more. Yeah. And like a six summer stripe isn't. beach fun. Does that make sense? Like a six stripe way back here is. Is not, is not even huge. No. So I think, I think we'll go with the six row stripe. Okay. okay. 
I like the six row stripe. The four is okay, but I like the six better. And because they both have like black in them, that if you do the two row stripe, they might like muddy together just a little bit, kind of like kind of like it did over here on the edge. Yeah. So I think yeah, I think six. It's what it, we've, what we decided. So now I need to wash this and see if I got the gauge right because we're going for seventeen stitches over four inches, and I think I'm close. It's just it's very drapey. It's very kind of. Kind of see through. It gives me a glorious, breezy summer top. It is, but it's definitely not a wear on its own type deal. No. It is pretty. The pretty colors they picked. I never would have picked those colors. So I'm really happy <laughs> that we did color by committee. Good. I love a good color by committee. And that's my last thing. Oh, all right. I suppose it's me then again. I'm so close to the end of my row. So close to the end of my row. Finish. Must Last. be myself. I'm so hot. <laughs> you have to learn not to think about it. Ugh. You have to learn not to think about it. You'll be fine. It's just heat. I Just know. <laughs> cranky. I don't like She's feeling cranky. damp. I don't like feeling damp. That's the, like that's really the problem. Because I'm sitting on a sort of plasticky chair, so certain lower back areas are quite damp at the moment, and it's very unpleasant. Again, welcome to my life. It sucks. <laughs> I'm glad you could But sympathize. also, how do you have heat all the time? Like, I am literally sweating right now, and my feet are still ice cold. My feet are cooler than the rest of me. Don't get me wrong. My feet are cooler than the rest of me. But yeah, the rest of me is quite hot. I'm used to it. Is really the way to phrase it. Just, I'm used to it. I have done exactly two rows on this shawl design that I was supposed to finish this week. Uh, doing great. Doing fantastic. Don't even there, worry about it. There are long rows. This has been spoken for. The mother has spoken. Uh, <laughs> Mama was like, is that going to be like a, a justifiable couch throw shawl thing? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It's it's a schlanket. Uh, she's like, cool. Uh, once you're done with the photos and stuff, send it to your mom. I'm like, cool. There's your birthday gift. Uh, so I don't even get to keep it. <laughs> it's, going, it's going to the mummy. <laughs> Yes, well, mothers get to do that. She's also like five foot four, and this is big enough to drape on me and not have the arm holy thing. We get the mm. cold, so She's this would definitely drown in it. Yes, which is what she wants. She wants something that she can wrap around her shoulders to keep her back warm, but doesn't enclose her in like a sweater, which she would get too hot for. So, two rows on the Midnight Breeze shawl have been completed. That's enormous. I mean, this is acrylic, so it won't grow. It's still enormous. But it's big, guys. Like, it's one of the bigger shawls I've ever designed. And I have no regrets. I have no regrets. Because this moon motif is just freaking stunning. I'm going to try to get photos so that you guys can see it. Because the moon motifs at the bottom are done with knits and pearls. So you can feel the moon texture. So you can feel the crescent moon shape in the bottom of the mm. shawl. Why? Because I can't really see things, but I can certainly feel things. So this is strictly based off of I don't see very well. So lace patterns, while cute, don't really do it for me. Because they don't. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. If you don't. But uh, knit pearl textures, I can absolutely feel the texture that's going on. So I can see the picture that way. So it's written. I just need to finish it and not make mistakes in the freaking chart so I can say it's done. So far, so good. That's I was why you supposed have to though to find all your chart mistakes. Uh I did, and they were great. And now I need to fix the shawl that I'll be taking photos of, which is mine. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so 
uh, working on that. I bought the bottom half of the moon, so it shouldn't be too much longer now. But I just need to, I sat down to work on this the other day. I did two rows and I took a nap on the couch. I am a touch tired. A touch, a touch tired. I'm using three balls of sparkle. I'll roll with it from Red Heart in the diamond colorway, which is the black to white gradient. So it was designed to use super long gradients, and I had sparkle yarn, so why wouldn't I? The sparkle yarn is great. It'd be so fun to take pictures of. I can't wait. I gotta put tassels on it. I've made my tassels. I just need to finish the shawl so I can put the tassels on. All right. Oh, your word is peppermint. Peppermint. All right. Sorry, my brain wrote loaded the wrong file and I was about to launch into a poem and not the Patreon ad. <laughs> but that was that was not the right file. Um let me try again. You you don't want to hear the Jabberwock poem. <laughs> it's not what we're here for. No, I, I mean, it's a good poem, but not right now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, if for some reason you would like to financially support these shenanigans, you may do so at patreon.com slash northern its podcast. Any level of support gets you access to our patron only discord server, where we are active at all hours of the day and the night, talking about everything yarny and foody and probably peppermint tea. I think we've talked about that at some point. To be fair, guys, there are quiet times. There, there, there are lulls. We are, we are not. And they're literally. weird and creepy. They're weird, creepy lulls. No, they're fine. <laughs> she she um, could fix by not lurking. I could, and yet. Um, what else was I saying? I'm lurking. I'm drinking peppermint tea. I'm mentioning that uh, higher levels of support get um, a monthly e knit in once a month on Zoom, and our next one of those is going to be on the twenty second of Ju July. Blah, blah, blah. Saturday, the 22nd of July, noon Manitoba time. And I think that's generally the Patreon stuff. Different levels of support will get you different things. Everybody gets into the Discord at a dollar a month. It also gets you access to all the bonus content that we post as far as blogs and videos. Uh, we don't do many videos that go into Discord before they go into YouTube, but we do do some. Higher levels get you different things because that's how Patreon works. <laughs> Oddly enough, that's a that's a thing. As always, we super understand that budgets are a real life thing. If you can't financially support liking, subscribing, and commenting here, as well as other other social media platforms, is a great way to interact with us. If you need a Diana, if it's very important, at me, I will track her down. I will track her down, and I will make sure she answers. That, that is the most effective way. Yes. Yes. Because I suspect Actually, I'm not. I'm not too bad if you ping me. I have to pick her, guys, and then I have to wait. <laughs> Get there eventually. And she only knows I'm annoyed, and I've done it more than once. If Diana, love, light of my life, comes out of my face, then, she's, then she knows I've asked more than oh, once. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've asked more than once, and I'm done being polite now. <laughs> oh, no, she's being really nice. That means I screwed up. <laughs> so, do you ever stop and think, what did I forget? I forgot something. <laughs> yeah, always. I'm like... A light of my life. Oh no, I forgot something again. <laughs> uh, what do we got going on? We've got some lives and stuff going on. By the time this goes out, you will have seen me live cast on party, which happens on Tuesday. We are also closing in on the end of the month, which means this Saturday, which is the last Saturday of the month. Waits for Diana to have a moment. Oh yeah. We have whip sprints. Yeah, that's my calendar. Whip sprints, yeah. Yeah, this is your thing. It's your baby. I was like, didn't right. intend it to get that way but yeah uh, here we are sprints last saturday of the month last saturday of the month we'll, join uh, us hang out on uh hang out on youtube and get some stuff done 
You betcha. We start at noon and we usually run for two or three hours easily. Uh, I'd uh, you sit down and you pick up a whip and sprint with us for a period of time or clean your house or do some cooking, whatever you want. It's your life. And we sit and chat together and try to get some work done. Well, the first Sunday of the month is like right around the corner. <laughs> it's going to be yeah. here before we know it. I think it's the third. Second. Second? Sunday oh, the second. second, yes. The day after Canada Day. Day after Canada Day. Day after Tour de Fleece starts. Also that. So, you know, stuff be a happening. So we'll be live for that one. Both of us like to participate for fun in Tour de Fleece. We don't, like, officially do anything group-wise. We just, we like to challenge ourselves. So that'll be going on. Cast on party. I wants to borrow my e-spinner, so I got to clear that off. I did put in a request for the e spinner so I could practice my drafting, not just my drop spindling. What else do we have going on? Uh, our summer solstice knit with us cast on parties on Tuesday. Did yeah. we say what time? Noon Manitoba time because you're not currently working. Yeah, so middle of the day. If middle you're of the in day, North America, <laughs> and uh, not horribly late at night if you're in Europe. Yeah. Hey. Ooh. Time zones. I'll be live with Louise on the 6th, which is the first Thursday of the month. We'll be seeing how our capelets have done. Capelet. Did you cast on your capelet? You don't have to keep your secret. I wound yarn for it yesterday. You can see it in the background. I didn't talk about it because I... Wait. There. It's, uh, I wound yarn for it. Good. Good. That's a start. That's a start. That's a start. We have our secret I figured that didn't on. count as... Uh, no winding, winding winding your does not count <laughs> winding your does not count so that's nope. going on i feel like we're missing some oh well i'm sure it'll come to me later and i'll be grumpy about it that's all i can think of yep. at the moment I'm positive i forgot cool. something that's okay we'll move on uh i think that's it yeah don't forget to enter the giveaway if you haven't already and then in which case um, until next week I'll say I'm Jocelyn and I'm Diana and no matter where your week takes you don't, don't forget, forget to knit, to knit. <laughs>